Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect up the CXBX Reloaded. Huh? I mean, I'm going to show you. <laughs> Sorry, that's a bit panting. I was just running upstairs. I'm going to show you how to connect up the NVIDIA Shield controller, like could be the new one, the old one, whichever one, to your Windows machine to use it on the CXBX Reloaded emulator, which is an original Xbox emulator. And you could connect it up via a wire, so you, you need a micro USB cable for that or via Bluetooth. I'll show you both. So with Bluetooth, you also need Bluetooth dongle or built-in Bluetooth. So first of all, before I connect it up, launch up, set up USB game controllers, and just plug this in like so. If vibrates, you may, may or may not be able to hear that. You, you probably heard that window sound, and it's picked it up there right there. If we go to properties, none of the buttons are being detected. Why is that? that is fine you see this center button right here you just got to keep that pressed till this light starts flashing the light flashing now and now if i go back to properties as you can see it is picking all the buttons that's it that's the wired connection done so some devices you just plug it in and it detects it this detects it but you sort of need to turn it on i guess so you just keep this pressed It'll keep flashing, that's fine, you can ignore that. If you want to connect it via Bluetooth, then let's disconnect this. And what you want to do is go to Bluetooth, go to add Bluetooth, Bluetooth, and keep this pressed again so it starts flashing, but without the cable plugged in, like so. It won't be that one because that's the shield itself. It'll have a game controller icon for the one we want. There we go. That's the one right there. So heard the window sound again. And there it is, the controller. That just crashed. <laughs> Let me just launch that back up again. As you can see, it is all working fine. So that's Bluetooth and wired. So wireless via Bluetooth or wired and use a micro USB cable. Now, the fun stuff, we can actually just launch up CXBX. If you haven't set it up, I've already got a separate video covering that. So feel free to check that out. And you just go to settings, config input and select the Duke or the S for whichever port you want. Go to configure and i've already got you know multiple profiles and i will be creating another one just select the gamepad from here just do the x input gamepad and that is it so if i was to just clear um, now i'll just override it like this so if i just do that as you can see it picks it up because i've already mapped it but that's it that's all you gotta do and I would just do the shoulder buttons for black and white. Uh, back button, I'm going to do the actual back button. For the start button, I'll do this start button right there. It's technically considered a start button. For up and the left stick, I'll do just push this up. Again, you can reverse the left sticks. You can and use the right analog stick for the left one, left one for the right, or use the D-pad or the face button for the stick. That's one of the benefits of using an emulator. You have a lot of flexibility. Again, none of these are changing just for the simple reason I've already done it. If I was to press down, for example, we got two south buttons that have been mapped. So you'd be up and down. So I guess you probably wouldn't move if that's what it is. Let's just remap it properly down left and triggers. So left is this one here, right. I'm going to rename this as NVIDIA, NVIDIA Shield Controller. Save and that's it. So make sure you click save. If you do not, it will not be there. So that is it. If I go to launch up a game now, I will be launching up Shrek 2, just because it's pretty decent with the compatibility. And when the DreamWorks logo appears, if I press A, it will, you know, skip this section. So I skipped it. 
and soon when we get into the menu you'll be able to see I can move up and down and I can use A to select and B to go back and any of the other buttons when I'm actually inside the game so that is it that is how you connect up the Nvidia Shield game controller the first one I like the 2015 version was all right I've got that one as well but this one feels pretty nice in the hand it's an overall decent game controller so if you only have this or you prefer this or if you have multiple controllers and you've got multiple like a multiplayer game you may not have enough Xbox controllers or enough PlayStation controllers or you might have someone that prefers this one so you can use this that's it if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message and as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.